Mark Carl Rom is an associate professor of government and public policy at Georgetown University, and he joins us now from Washington, D.C. Welcome to the News Hour. Great to have you on. Um, Great now, to be here. Is the damage caused to uh, Donald Trump's campaign by the coronavirus actually recoverable? Because he is now trailing by some margin in the polls. For Trump to recover uh, in his approach to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, the pandemic would have to ease. It'd have to get better. Unfortunately, in the vast majority of American states, the COVID infection rate is rising. The hospital admission rate is rising. This is going to be a very difficult challenge for Trump to overcome. The American public does not, by and large, trust him on this epidemic, and it's unlikely that that's going to change between now and the election. And Mark, we want to show our viewers now a graph uh, which shows age groups in the U.S., which age groups in the U.S. Uh, are currently getting COVID. So it's on our screens right now. Um, so the, uh, the blue bars are from May, the red bars from August, and it shows how young people are catching the virus in increasing numbers. And they're being blamed for not following social distancing rules. Do you think uh, Donald Trump's approach could actually appeal to this important, very important age group? You know, I don't think Trump is able to make a, an effective appeal to any age group on this uh, disease. It's now spreading more among college-age students who are unlikely to vote for him anyway. But more importantly, it's spreading among those older American voters. That's part of his main base are those senior citizens who will turn out to vote. If they're worried about being sick or if they're actually sick, it's going to be harder to appeal to them and it's unlikely to help them on Election Day. And so did you see any change in, in the next, well, there's two weeks left, there's, uh, there's 12 days. Well, so there are two things at play here. One is, are Americans worried about the COVID uh, epidemic and will that change? Unlikely, it's getting worse in the United States. But one thing we need to consider is how will it impact voters on election day? To the extent that individuals are worried about going to the polls, that's gonna hurt Trump because Trump has asked people to vote in person, not through mail. If people are scared to vote in person, this is going to help Joe Biden and not President Trump. And what do you see actually happening on Election Day? Well, I'll tell you what. If I'm worried about getting sick, I'm not going to want to spend six hours in line. It's going to be difficult to vote on Election Day. We encourage Americans to vote if they have not done so. But it's hard for me to imagine that the worried voters on Election Day are going to say, who do I trust in the next four years to handle this pandemic? It's not going to be President Trump. And Mark, what do you see as the role of uh, Dr. Fauci going forward? So Dr. Fauci is the most experienced voice in our country regarding infectious diseases. He has been pessimistic about our ability to handle the spread unless we take much more serious mitigation measures. The public trusts Dr. Fauci much more than they do President Trump. President Trump is annoyed by that, in which the popularity was reversed, but attacking Dr. Fauci does not seem to be a helpful election strategy. And let's talk about uh, Joe Biden. What do we expect to see from uh, Joe Biden if he does get into power with regards to the pandemic? Well, well uh, President, uh, Vice President Biden has made his views clear that we need to have a much more uh, effective national strategy. Part of that national strategy is going to involve mandatory mask orders. These may not be popular with a large portion of the public, but it appears that unless the United States takes much stronger action, the COVID-19 is going to continue to spread, continue to cause the loss of life. And I think Biden, by calling for an effective national strategy, does have the higher edge on the campaign. We'll leave it there. Thank you so much. Mark Carl Rom, Associate Professor of Government and Public Policy at Georgetown University. We appreciate your time and your analysis. Pleasure to be here. Thank you.